Hi Cancer, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. Today we're going to do your January 2019 monthly reading. Um, just wanted to also note that I will be putting, uh, putting out uh, January 1st to the 8th weekly general readings and that will be followed by January 1st to the 8th weekly love readings. Today we're going to do a Celtic cross with a fountain tarot and pull oracle cards which are sacred traveler and work your life. So, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019 in the form of a Celtic cross. As you guys know, I'm going to shuffle, and after a good shuffle, when a card pops out, that's my signal that that's the end of the shuffle. If I shuffle and a card pops out too soon, I will show you the cards, but I'm going to continue the shuffle, and if it takes too long, I'll just end the shuffle. All right, this is for Gem oh, sorry, Gemini. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January, two thousand nineteen. <clears throat> Can we please get a Celtic cross for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January, two thousand nineteen? I'm gonna give it a good shuffle. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019. Oh, that was it. Okay, no, there's two cards there. So I'm going to take one, Seven of Swords. A little bit of sneakiness, unstable efforts, or deceit going on here. Queen of Wands is someone who is maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, fire sign, and also someone who is extremely attractive, magnetic, charming, outgoing, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, beautiful and psychic, intuitive, and uh, empowered. Okay. An older woman on the bottom we got empress fertility and creativity okay let's keep shuffling though because i just want one card and this is for cancer sun moon rising and venus for the month of january 2019 okay i'm gonna stop there on the bottom we've got knight of coins <clears throat> Sorry, I still have a cold a little bit. That could speak to Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, um, <clears throat> a new job opportunity, possibly moving a location, moving locations for jobs. Could speak to someone who's early 20s to early 30s, loyal, practical, slow and steady, wins the race type person, very focused and dependable. <clears throat> In the situation, we have Six of Swords. The challenge is Nine of Cups. We keep getting Nine of Cups for everybody. Okay, and Star. Okay, Knight of Cups is your conscious there. And the foundation, we've got Death. On the recent past, we've got Three of Coins. Recent future, we have the Queen of Swords. Then we have you right now, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Coins. Around you is Four of Coins. Hopes and Fears, Six of Wands. Outcome, Three of Swords. Ouch. Okay, let's talk about it. So, we have, we're going to talk about different pieces. And then you can see when I just blurt out all the different meanings of the cards, then you can see which one resonates for you. Okay? Six of Swords is about whatever situation you were in, you had to leave it. Okay? It's about going and having a safe passage to somewhere new. You see this person at the swords here, they're leaving a situation that was painful, didn't work out in their best interests, and now they, they're going on this voyage here and there's land over there that they're about to reach, okay? So you've got a lot of water energy, you've got land, and we've got swords. The swords are what's driving them away to get to this next place, voyage by sea to the land, okay? So what is that speaking to? It's, I find it speaks to whatever the swords were, this kind of like, you know, swords represent air signs like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It can also speak to a situation where, you know, it, 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 swords would rule the intellect, thoughts, um, the processing of information. So whatever the situation was that you were in, it was something that instead of being like a more heart-centered kind of uh, 
situation. It was a more like kind of mental strategic kind of situation and because of that it didn't quite work out it came unraveled and you had to go and leave and find somewhere new to go okay find safe passage somewhere else it's leaving a sad situation okay so then you get this challenge is nine of cups okay what's nine of cups it's about your deepest wish and it's about you know trying to manifest something that you've always hoped for the challenge here is when you're leaving this sad situation, your challenge is to find that hopefulness, that kind of inspiration, that kind of, um, that joy of life kind of feeling of hopefulness, okay? Optimism. You, 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 your challenge is to manifest this Nine of Cups energy. And the funny thing is, so many people... We're getting, I said already, Nine of Cups and the, the Star card because it's New Year's. And New Year's, everybody's like, this is my New Year's resolution. I'm going to quit this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Well, for you guys, for whoever this resonates for, it's leaving a sad situation in the situation. The situation is leaving a sad situation. And your challenge is to be hopeful for the future, for the month. Okay, that's your challenge. To tap into the Nine of Cups energy, which is about being... Nine of Cups is getting your wish come true. That's your challenge. You're not able to manifest your deepest desire, whatever that is, okay? And in the conscious, you see Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is someone who's like a romantic dreamer type, young, early 20s to early 30s, someone who is, again, very much... Um, Easy come, easy go kind of attitude in relationships. Uh, someone who's not so committed, but it's not a bad person. It's just someone who's like, you know, possibly very much, you know, focused on their own feelings and their own emotions and working those things out. So in your mind, you might feel like you are receptive to love. You might feel like you want to offer love to someone. You might feel like, you know, you're a romantic person who's got a lot to offer. So, okay, in your headspace, you got love on your mind, okay? Now, the thing is, the foundation here, beneath the surface, you've got death. The death card could represent Scorpio or it could represent the end of something probably more likely the end of something because um basically it speaks to you know in your subconscious you know in your gut that whatever the situation was that you were leaving that it's dead and buried and done now how are we gonna know that let's just take a look at the cards okay i'm gonna take a quick peek and skip ahead a bit but i won't skip the meanings of the cards outcome is three of swords heartbreak disappointment loss Foundation, death, ending of a situation, a life phase. Six of swords, a situation, leaving a sad situation. So we're seeing a lot of endings here, okay, to something. Recent past was three of coins. Three of pentacles is about collaboration, working together with others harmoniously. It's about skill and recognition for your skills at work. You, Whatever your work is, whatever your craft is, whatever your career is, you're, you've got notoriety, you've got... Uh, attention for being very good at whatever it is that you do it can also speak to a third party situation okay with maybe one more extra person involved in whatever situation you were in okay let's see though where this goes so possibly because of that you left the situation well, let's keep going then you go into the queen of swords energy in the future so who's the queen of swords queen of swords is someone who is, again, represents air signs like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is the sword of truth, victory, and clarity. She's someone who speaks her truth. She's an older woman. She's also known as like a divorcee type energy. Someone who is, uses logic and reason. She's not someone who uses her heart and her feelings, okay? Someone who's a little bit, you know, been through it all. And so now you have to come correct with all your, you know, paperwork intact everything in order and then you know she'll give you the time of day queen of swords also speaks to like you know cutting off things that don't serve you with that sort of truth victory and clarity so 
when you left this sad situation in the recent future, you might be cutting off someone, okay? And you might be single now. Because this is also a single person's card. There's a lot of, like, single, single energy here or leaving a situation or the end of a situation. Then you have you right now, seven of coins. Seven of coins is someone who's waiting for their harvest. It's waiting on something. It's seven of coins is like, you see these coins that they're growing and they use this kind of like a farmer kind of theme here. It's because you took so much time and loving care and effort to plant those seeds and nurture those plants and then make it grow. And now finally, after they've grown, they've blossomed. Now they're bearing fruit. But then the fruit is not quite ripe yet, so you're waiting now to pluck those fruit. Whatever it is, these seven of coins is about hard-earned pentacles that you put a lot of energy into, and now you're waiting to reap the benefits from. There is a thing, though, that you know you might get less than you were expecting, but I don't think you're going to be too disappointed because you know anybody who gardens or plants things knows like whatever grows, you're just excited. You already know like you know some of it's not going to manifest, whatever. But whatever it does, it's such a beautiful blessing when it does. So I find that, you know, you right now, you're just waiting to, waiting for that harvest, right? Surrounding you, you got four of cups. This is someone around you, or it could be the energy you're surrounded by. Now, I think it's the energy of someone around you. Why? Because the situation is leaving a sad situation. And I see you in the recent future as Queen of Swords. And that's generally someone who's about to cut someone off, right? So, you're waiting for something. Around you is someone who's waiting for you. I see someone. Look at how this person's looking over here. The, the relation of the cards to each other is important. Look at this four of cups and this person who's looking over here at this person who's seven of coins. You're seven of coins right now. You're fixated on your coins. You gives... No cares about this person at this point. <coughs> this person is focused on the past, those three of cups, and doesn't see the opportunity that's there for them. That one cup there that's still there, that's full, that has divine love, divine opportunity. Um, they don't see it. They don't care. They're so focused and fixated on the past, okay, where they're like in zombie mode. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They, they're just like walking around listless and just completely fixated on the past they're fixated on you i feel when i see you you're fixated on your coins okay your hopes and fears is six of wands you're hoping for victory you're hoping six of wands is coming home after a battle to victory with people cheering and you know it's just also comes with a caution. I always say six of wands comes with a caution that the people in the crowd, not everybody's happy for you. Some are haters. And on top of that, don't be overly um, egoic about it. Don't be overly confident. Don't be, don't be an asshole. That's basically what it's saying. When you're winning, win with grace, right? It's saying six of wands also is like, be mindful not to be uh, cocky and... Uh, arrogant right because it, it for whatever reason it's it gives that warning because you know there are people who are not too happy for you also in the background so you don't want to like fan those flames then in the outcome though the final outcome is three of swords heartbreak disappointment loss okay when i see this knight of cups looking over here right you still have this cup on your head in your mind on your mind right about what this so you might be feeling in January you broke up with someone wasn't working out for you it was a third party situation possibly you cut them off now you're focused on work focused on manifesting what you've been working so hard for in your career this person is still stuck on you feeling all in their feelings about it you're hoping for a victory you want to you know show them you know you want to do well and be the victor in the situation after it's been all said and done and broke because you know it, it happens when people break up someone always someone is always the one who gets broken up with and someone who does the breaking up and you know some people will act like ah, it doesn't matter who did what we, we just separated no people care about those things right and in the end though it's a heartbreak disappointment and loss you do care in the end you do care 
right? Even though you cut them off and stuff, you left, it was sad, you're still hung up on it as well. So this person's hung up on you, you're working towards other things, you're hoping to win and show them, but in the end, you regret it as well. You're still thinking about them. But let's pull some Oracle cards. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019, please. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019, please. You can get one card for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019. <clears throat> okay, take that one. On the bottom, there's narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Okay, so this speaks to um, whatever you thought your road was, however wide and open you thought it was, that you could just like, you know, run free and, and go, you know, willy-nilly, just for, go on that way, and you got a lot of freedom and a lot of space, a lot of elbow room. Well, no, it's saying your pathway is narrow. Tread thoughtfully. Look at this pathway, it's a little bit treacherous, right? It's saying there is definitely a way across, definitely. But this card really speaks to me because I've seen it for other people as well about if you've gotten many chances in some opportunity in this situation, it's saying the chances are now slim, slimmer, right? So don't squander these chances, these opportunities, because the pathway is getting narrow now. Still doable, not easy. Okay, Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. Beautiful. Let's read that. This is Sweet Good Traveler, Journey by Moonlight. It says, magic is all around you. Spiritual dimensions and mystical realms are only a thought away. The veil is thin right now between you and the realm of the fairies, elves, angels, and spirit beings. It is indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening the doors to these realms is to trust. Even if you can't see, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. All is not as it seems. Trust your intuition and those nudges from spirit. Believe, exclamation point. Sacred Traveler wants you to know, when the traveler journeys by moonlight, mystical beings emerge and magic abounds in the depth of the enchanted forest. Even though the traveler can't see clearly, he trusts that blessings and support are being showered over him and his life. The key to having miracles transpire in your life is to believe in magic and trust that you are supported by unseen beings in accordance with your highest good. Wonderful. Very spiritual card. All right. Let's pull one Work Your Light card for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019. It's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019. Okay, that's a no. <clears throat> Please get a card for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 19. This will be the last Oracle card. <clears throat> Okay, take that. On the bottom, we have Warrior Woman. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? And that just speaks to whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you're trying to create. Let's see, the Queen of Swords is like a Warrior Woman there as well. Okay, so it's just speaking to, you know, whatever it is you're doing, saying don't let limitations, you know, stop you from being or manifesting what you really would like to do. You know, like your dreams. Whatever your dreams are, your deepest wish, what would you do if you weren't afraid? Okay? And then on the top, you got Council of Light. Wonderful. Council of Light speaks to ascended masters, divine beings <clears throat> from all over the world, from other dimensions, all here to lend support and help in uh, help light workers on earth to spread you know positivity and light to the rest of the people now it's saying the council of light they want to help you with whatever you're doing and it's saying that you know the only limitation is your capacity and your receptivity so they want to help they want to guide you they want to be there to support you but you have to open up and be willing to ask for that help and it's saying no matter how big or how small it doesn't matter what you want to ask for for in help they can do it and they would be happy to. So it's saying to remember this, okay? And that I will put over here. Cancer, that's your reading for January 2019. Uh, stay tuned for other readings. I'll have weekly readings, as I said, and uh, general and love. 
Okay, so have a wonderful week. Talk to you guys soon and take care. Bye, Cancer.